is going on Aries welcome to your weekly reading we're going to take a look at February 7th through February 13th 2022 so this is going to be for Sun Moon Rising Venus Aries this is just a general reading if you want to look for love the extended reading is below I'll put the link there where you can go find out about your person and what you can expect from them this could be love career your neighbor your pet I'm kidding not really your pet but it's just general, whatever spirit has for you. We're going to see 17th, uh, 17th, 7th through the 13th of February. All right, let's do it, Aries. Let's actually look at your current energy. What's coming into the current moment? You've got the Ace of Wands. There's your fire. What's the influence or the challenge? The Nine of Cups is influencing that Ace of Wands. Ooh la la. What's on your mind, Aries? What's going through your thoughts? The Three of Cups. All right, what happened in the recent past? What does that energy look like? Justice, some of you are connecting with a Libran, Major Arcana for Libra. What's the main message here? What's the situation? The Hermit, Major Arcana for Virgo. Let mom move all of this around. If you've been with my channel a while, you know I've got a small workspace here. One day, one day I will get a bigger workspace. Coming into the near future, what will you experience, Aries? The Two of Pentacles in reverse. All right, let's scooch all down. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The Five of Pentacles. In your environment, what's coming in that you don't see yet? The world. Major Arcana. All right, what's going on in your feels, your emotions? The five of cups, another five. So two fives, so some challenges maybe. What's the outcome? What do we have? The four of swords in reverse. All right, Aries. All right, mom is feeling it here. All right, you guys, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe for me. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload weekly. Yes, I'm getting back on a weekly schedule. Some people out there haven't been very happy about my hiatus but well I was dealing with life stuff and now I'm not I mean I am but you know not as much so hopefully things will get back on schedule all right if you guys need a private reading all of that info is below as well and there's the extended reading that down there below as well all right Aries let's see seventh through the 13th of February, 2022. The reason everything's going down here is the Hermit. So you could be connecting with a Virgo. All right. So I think you guys are kind of, you know, the Hermit really does talk about kind of going within introspection, you know, maybe being on your own a little bit, but it's also knowledge and it's about wisdom and, you know, really kind of nurturing yourself and figuring out what you want, researching, right? And it's a new beginning with the Ace of Wands here with the Nine of Cups, something that makes you happy. Now, it could be within your current job, it could be a new job, something just to get the spark going. Because you see yourself as the Five of Pentacles right now, Aries. So that could be some um, financial strife or struggles or just kind of on your own. I'm getting a very, you know, I'm in solitude, I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want, and that could be with love or job or just anything like that. But it's a time of going within. It feels like because on your mind is the three of cups, joy and harmony and celebration, right? Coming together for some of you, it could be a reconciliation or dating, that kind of thing. Some of you have met someone new, it makes you very happy. You guys enjoy the same things and you're kind of going within and trying to figure out what is this, right? Because I've been on my own for so long or I've kind of felt, you know, not part of the group in some way. Now that can be love, work, friendship, whatever. It's just this energy of Aries wanting to get that spark going again with something that makes you very happy. You brought some justice in your life here in the recent past with the justice card. You know, justice is all about balance, doing the right thing, some sort of big decision here, I think, and it, because it's all happening because of the hermit. So going within and figuring some stuff out here. For some of you, it was a reconciliation with a friend or a past love. All right, let's start clarifying. Coming in right now, we do have this Ace of Wands, Aries. There's your fire energy. What's this about? And the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, again, I just, whether you're male or female, I feel like a lot of you Aries have just been kind of on your own, especially in love, probably burned, probably hurt, pissed, cutting people off, you know, that kind of thing. And so now you're kind of going towards something new. You're, you're getting that spark back. Because you want to make yourself happy. Again, whatever 
facet that is in your life. Some of you, you're leaving this Queen of Swords in reverse behind at a job or something like that. It would be like a real bitch. What's the influence? It's the Nine of Cups. Making yourself happy. Yeah, because of the Five of Coins. For some of you, it's a new job or even starting a business or something on the side because of financial struggles. Could even be working with a group of people. But I feel like that Three of Cups on your mind is just joy and happiness. For those of you that have been hurt in love and kind of been on your own, you're ready to get out there again. And maybe some of you have already done that recently. In the past, justice is here. What happened? The emperor, major arcana for Aries there. You guys are. You always show up in my readings. I love it. So two major arcana, so a big deal. Something big here happened. Now, for some of you, um, this was a new job where you're kind of leading things. The emperor is a boss, bossing up, regaining control of your life, though, more so than anything, Aries. Maybe setting some boundaries. Something happened here. It was a shift of energy, and it was a decision, or it was just you bringing more balance into your life here. On your mind is the Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups here for Aries? What is this about? What is it? The Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Again, leaving, there's another five. So we've got three fives showing in the reading. Leaving strife and conflict and drama and all that bullshit behind. Competition. So if somebody was being nasty at work or even in a friend group, something like that. This is Aries just being like, yeah, I was pissed. I was getting bored. But you know what? I've done some, I've done some soul searching. And I've, I've discovered that I still have a spark, a zest for something. I'm going to make myself happy because either I'm not receiving enough money at work or I'm not getting paid what I should or something like that or maybe some of you are in a group of friends who have just been like catty jealous even family members that kind of thing and you're just tired of it it's all happening because of the hermit sign of Virgo yep and the nine of coins there's your prosperity there's you nurturing yourself doing it independently doing it on your own With that hermit in the foundation, some of you Aries have really gone within again and you've discovered how to make more money on your own, maybe even from home. Something like that, like a business or something. Um, sometimes the hermit can be somebody that you seek knowledge from, you know, wisdom. They're very knowledgeable, very wise in a certain area. I think a lot of you in love obviously have been on your own and, you're kind, and it's because you've been hurt, but a lot of you are, are starting to kind of feel that spark again to maybe start dating i mean this is in the upright area so this is talking about you being confident nurturing yourself okay on your own you know but you're kind of you're kind of getting ready coming into the near future you'll experience the two of pentacles in reverse and the seven of cups so options opening up yet yeah, you're dropping one of those pentacles in your life aries you'll find choices and decisions to drop one in order to regain stability in your life whether that's financially whether that's through a family member friend group love whatever that is and when you do that your options are going to start opening here and this is what you're seeking right now you see yourself as the five of pentacles why because of the three of coins in reverse yeah a lack of an agreement a lack of teamwork a lack of being able to collaborate and come together this can be a falling apart of, of a work environment of a relationship something like that so you see yourself as the outsider looking in and some of you are afraid of some financial difficulties so you're moving towards something that's going to be a lot more prosperous and again this is all about you kind of seeking that knowledge and that wisdom researching under you know uncovering how to do that because you're just not getting along with a group of people or in love it's kind of been like you know you've always been the outsider looking in whether somebody cheated on you or whatever and you're just overcoming that energy because what you don't see coming is the world so this is what's coming in from your environment and the world you know major arcana Number 21, it's the end of a cycle, but it's also about success, learning a lot of valuable lessons and reaching milestones and shutting doors and opening new doors. Yeah, see, with the Knight of Coins. Virgo Taurus energy, that Knight of Coins is bringing, that coin is all about stability. So for a lot of you, this is money and finances. You're ending something here 
because you're seeking knowledge, you're researching, you're finding it. A lot of you are doing it on your own and a lot of you it's to work from home or work independently. You're struggling financially or you're worried you will because you just can't, you're not on the same page with people at work. And here comes that stability. It's going to be slow because it's building with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's all about success. There's success coming in here. But just remember to, to get that success areas, you got to drop one of those pentacles. And I think you will. I think for love, a lot of you, this is just learning a lot of valuable lessons and just kind of slow and steady, you know? Because in your emotions, you've got the Five of Cups, some regrets here. I don't know that this is necessary longing or missing. It could be. But also, you know, that Five of Cups, those emotions, it's kind of dwelling on what could have been or what you want. You know, loss, disappointment. What's this Five of Cups on an emotional level? And temperance. But you're being patient. Some of you are missing a Sagittarius, I'm just saying. But temperance is like, yeah, I'm hanging in there. You know, I'm healing. Like that Five of Cups is still there. There's still some, you know, disappointment or loss. But I'm going to be patient. I'm, I'm, you know, getting everything kind of balanced here. Knowing that it's really all about divine timing. Why is temperance here? Yeah, Six of Coins looking for something that's more balanced in your emotions. And I think you did here. And by doing that with justice in the recent past, you're in your element, you're in the upright, the emperor, Aries energy, you're setting boundaries and regaining control. I think in a lot of areas of your life, that six of coins says, I'm looking for something that's reciprocated. I'm tired of the one-sided bullshit. I'm gonna get paid what I deserve. I'm not going to put more into relationships than I'm receiving. This is all about balance here in your emotions because you feel sad or you feel disappointed in things that haven't been, you know, maybe people just taking advantage of you. The outcome shows a four of swords in reverse. Justice in reverse. Again, you've got Libra and energy there. Why is the four of swords in reverse with justice in reverse? <clears throat> Four of Swords in Reverse with Justice in Reverse. Seven of Coins. An investment. Looking at something and kind of waiting. Taking stock of something here. There's somebody in your work, your career, Aries, after you decide to move away from something or kind of do something on your own or something like that, who reaches out again. Now remember, time's fluid. This doesn't have to be right within this period, but this is what's manifesting. But with justice in reverse, you're looking at this and you're like, no, this isn't a fair offer. There's no balance. The lack of balance is what I've been trying to get away from. And remember, y'all, this could be a family situation, a friend, love, whatever. Somebody comes back that you've secluded yourself from to be independent. And then here they come again. But the problem is they're either bringing like a lie, something that's not truthful, and you're really going to be kind of looking at this. You know, that seven of coins is just kind of waiting and looking to see if this investment is worth it. And I think you know it isn't. You've gotten out of something here. Yeah, the eight of wands. and You just don't see progress or change. You don't want to manifest something here. You could just block this. Per you know, it could be like you receive a message from an old boss, an old coworker, an ex-friend, you know, something like that, a past love, something like that. And you, you're like, no, and you just block them right away. Like you don't even communicate with this person because remember coming in, you got the Ace of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands in reverse for the outcome? Yeah, you don't see potential. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, not enough money. You're not valuing me enough. There's no stability in this, you know, partnership, relationship, whatever it is. So to bring it all back together, Aries, this is about you having enough of somebody or a situation and you just going within, figuring it out, researching, doing it on your own. You're worried about money or you're tired of people just leaving you out of a group. Some of you have just been tired of love offers that have gone awry. So you finally make this decision to drop one of those pentacles here. That pentacle could be something that's been heavy, that's lacking stability and balance. Because when that two of pentacles is in the upper, you're balancing, right? And it's in reverse, you gotta drop one to get that balance. Then your options start to open. 
there's success coming. It has to do with somebody really valuing you or offering you money, more stability. You guys are worried about money again right now, not getting along with people, a breakup, a fallout, not being able to collaborate. And in your emotions, you're still kind of sitting in that, but it, it changes. But then right as you're kind of getting this new beginning here, you've got somebody say, but wait, we can work this out. And you're like, no, I'm good. I don't even think you give them the time of day. You're reflecting on this, which you've done here too. And you're just like, no, there's no stability with this. And you block somebody. All right, in the extended reading Aries, we're going to take a look at your love life in more depth. And we'll see how your person feels about you who's coming into your life if you're completely single. Um, so that extended reading link will be below and we'll dive into your person, do a little bit of spying, see what they're up to. And again, if y'all need a private reading, uh, my website's below as well. All right, Aries, I love you hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.